Hi, this is Christy Robinette of TangleBushes.com. Hope you guys are doing great. As promised, I wanted to go over some of the archangels or archangels that um, Lisa and I had talked about in our class last week. One of the angels, and I wanted to do this one at a time per video, because there are several different archangels, and archangels, um, they show themselves to us depending upon situations that we're in need of or just by simply inviting them into our life. And a lot of times people don't realize that the archangels have a different purpose and that they have their own sort of line of expertise that they can assist us with. And the one that I wanted to bring up was Archangel Ariel. From a, a theological standpoint, they are not supposed to have a gender. So they're supposed to be, um, you know, not, not male nor female, but we do seem to attribute different, because the human eye and the human emotion of it all seems to attribute gender to the angels. So there's Archangel Ariel, and most people attribute her as being female, and her name means Lion of God. She's the angel of animals and of confidence, and she's also one that focuses in on the environment. So the reason why I wanted to bring her up today is because of the issues with regards to Japan and I believe that we're going to be having a lot of other um, environmental issues that are going to be upcoming with some more earthquakes and I believe we're going to have a lot of tornadoes this upcoming season. So she is one that I keep inviting in to sort of assist with all of the situations that are going on in the world and I, I love if every one of you could do the same thing because they can be in more than one place at a time. So if we all call upon her, then maybe she can get, you know, an even larger army of angels to sort of assist with the issues. Um, she deals with healing, protecting nature. She's good for somebody that is a veterinarian or somebody that's in the environmental sciences. She is courageous. She's also got a magical feel to her and a loving feel. Her stone is rose quartz. So you typically associate that pink, that nice um, light pink with her, and sometimes even those that are intuitive that are looking at the angels, that they see that soft light pink and even maybe light pink wings that come with her. The other thing that's sort of a misconception with angels is that they have wings, and they don't all have wings. What it really is, it's the aura that comes in back of them that most people see and attribute that to them. So Archangel Ariel she also helps with manifestations and she's a good one to to call on when you're trying to like heal and protect like I said especially with wild animals fish birds and the environment so if just simply have to say I invite Archangel Ariel to assist us with the world crisis and let it be and she will help us so that is Archangel Ariel. I think the next one that we'll go through tomorrow is Archangel Azrael. Thanks. Have a good day.